everyone, Jacqueline Howard here. Yeah, I know, it looks like I'm sitting back and slacking off, but you've got it all wrong. I'm actually boosting my confidence right before your eyes. Making yourself look big like how I was sitting is what psychologists call a high power pose. It's no secret that people innately do this when they're achieving something great, like these guys. But did you know that you can use power posing to program yourself for success? This isn't the same old body language that you're used to hearing about. It's a field of research called embodied cognition. Just take it from Harvard psychologist Dr. Amy Cuddy in this TED Talk that caught the attention of more than 4 million people on YouTube. So when you, when you uh, feel powerful, you're more likely to do this, but it's also possible that um, when you, when you uh, pretend to be powerful, you are more likely to actually feel powerful. And that's because a power pose may actually boost levels of testosterone while lowering the stress hormone cortisol in your body. But this powerful pose isn't the only way you can hack your body language to your benefit. Here's what the science says about five other simple techniques. Slouching is the ultimate low power pose. Research out of San Francisco State University shows that slouching can bring down your energy and even make you feel depressed. But assuming a more upright position can improve your mood and energy. You may have heard that crossed arms make you appear less approachable. But one study shows crossing your arms may boost your persistence. Researchers at the University of Rochester found that when people crossed their arms while working on a task, those people showed greater persistence than others who simply rested their hands in their laps. Gesturing's a great way to explain something to other people, but it can also help you learn. A study of grade schoolers found that kids who were told to gesture in class were better at retaining what they learned than the other kids. Next time you're trying to skip that second helping of dessert, clench your fists. Sounds crazy, but an international team of researchers showed that that really works. The scientists had college students go through grueling experiments, like making them hold their hands in freezing water to making them taste a sour drink. It turns out that those students who tightened their muscles had an easier time completing those tasks. You know the expression, grin and bear it. It may sound like a cliche, but research shows that smiling can lower your heart rate and even increase feel-good endorphins in your brain. Even if it's a fake grin, like in one study when researchers made people hold chopsticks in their teeth. Still, the way that your mind and body are connected represents a field of research that scientists are just beginning to explore. What other ways would you like to hack your body for the better? Let me know in the comments. Come on, talk nerdy to me.